Hamas breached international law on the 7th of October, and their actions have been rightly condemned by right-thinking people across the world. But we should also be very clear, Israel has breached international law, not just on every day since October the 7th, but virtually every single day for decades. Israel occupies Palestinian land against international law. Israel blockades Palestinian territory against international law. Israel builds and expands illegal settlements against international law. Israel enforces an apartheid system that restricts the movements of Palestinians and denies their fundamental rights against international law. And Israel regularly and systematically attacks and kills Palestinian civilians against international law. So the question that must be answered by all of us in political life is this. How does the world respond to flagrant abuses of international law? World leaders queued up to say Israel has the right to defend itself means in practice that Israel takes that right as license to bombard civilians, to bomb schools, hospitals and other civilian infrastructure. And it has now been taken as license to enforce the displacement of one million people from one end of an open air prison to another. To deny food, energy, medical supplies to a besieged civilian population. To actually deny them water. To ensure that children, the sick, the disabled, the elderly will literally die of thirst. Israel has the right to to defend itself has now become cover for Israel has the right to commit genocide right in front of our eyes. How come we never hear the words Palestine has the right to defend itself? 